Eli, you work with a lot of engineers now, right? So you guys are a, a product company, an online product company, so things are constantly evolving, changing. What are some some things that you've learned, maybe some pots of goo you accidentally stepped in that you could kind of talk about? You know what, guys? This is what you need to be thinking about when you're working with engineers. So one of the things I've learned by working at a larger company where things have been in place for many, many years and just because an SEO comes in, into the company and says, well, here's what I read in the book. You know, you can only do a 301 redirect, which is a permanent redirect, and 302s are terrible. So I've learned that that isn't always the case, and sometimes it's the way that, it's the way things were built, and I have to figure out ways around it. And rather than go to an engineer and file a ticket or talk to them and say, change that redirect, change this title, I need to figure out to work within the constraints of what they are willing to do and what will help me succeed at what I'm trying to do. And it's really about diplomacy and being really nice, offering advice. I've offered everyone that I've spoken to you know, help with their own personal blogs. I guess they don't have personal blogs, but no one's asking me for help. But just being really approachable, because I have my job. My job is to improve the optimization of the site. And they have their jobs to create better products. And I need to make sure that their goals align with my goals. And I can't just go and say, do more work because it will help our traffic because they're not being measured on traffic. I am. Exactly. And, and I think you talk about something really important that not a lot of people in the SEO community are talking about. It really is about diplomacy and political finesse, right? These soft skills. So if these are things that you're struggling with, you need to uh, proactively get some mentoring, some training. You know, I was an in-house SEO and I'm not afraid to say I was in the boss's office for a while every single week because I had offended somebody and I had to learn, you know, how, when to walk on eggshells and how to be more di diplomatic. And so um, if you're one of those people, you're not alone. This happens to a lot of in-house SEOs and um, you, you bring up a great point. You just really have to focus on that diplomacy.